All right. Um, so this is, we did not have a meeting two weeks ago because it was just Elizabeth and I. And so this is the March 22nd uh, edition of the Evolution Working Group. And one of the things that I wanted to talk about, um, we had some, I uh, just want to talk about metrics models in this group. We don't have to do it first, but I'll put it there first, just in case. And um, we have some previously reviewed metrics. Um, and Vinod, I can't remember if these are ones that are released or not. Change request review uh, is released. And both are release metric. I think, like, can we open the issues, like, on the GitHub issues? We'll figure it out. That's what I remember. I released both of these. Yeah, let me look right, at that. There we go. Going over to that, we have, yeah, these are, these are the metrics right. reviews. Um, that, so this is the checklist for metrics that need to be reviewed. Yep. Okay. I think that, um, so I am the one that's looking through the evolution metrics to review okay, right. and I have not done that yet. So, okay, which so is this totally checklist, good. yeah. Totally fine. So we have three uh, release metrics. Two, I released them like uh, put the put request. One was done by Dr. German P. So Yep, and I created a translation request for that. Yuhi contacted me like, I don't see a translation for this, so. And, and I think these two, met, these two metrics that are listed under items three and four. Oh. Yep, these are release metrics under review. All right, that makes a ton of sense to me. So can you hear me? I can. Oh, can, you hear, okay. can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes. Then, then we're ready to go. Okay. Um, and maybe we should just quick review um, and if we have any issues in PRs. Uh, let's see. Update funnel image. I guess they made it smaller or bigger. I think they changed the group A. Bigger. Participants. It's a bigger one. New one is like 1190 by 685. The old one was 865 by 501. This seems reasonable to me. Yep. Any objection? Nope. All right. And then. Oh, this is just our ad reactions one that's been hanging there for a while. These yep. are just our release. I um, guess we could look and see if we have any comments yet. Please add, uh, please add issue link. These are all done. Um, And just to clarify, um, Sean, this is the metric that um, the uh, Google Summer of Code students are would be working on to visualize. Right. Okay. Yeah, yes. I think that's the one, Mabel, who's in here. I think that's the one she was interested in kind of working with. So we were talking about that quite a bit. Okay. Um, it, is, it is a metric focused on technical contributions. 
Um, so do we want to, I think that all that would be required I agree with this. I don't know how to weave it in to our metric easily. But this is this is an this is an issue, not a metric really. So do we need to change the name of the metric to indicate that it's only technical? Or is there room for adding other types of contributions in with this metric? Um, I'm just gonna look at this metric. Well, that's the... Where did, where did I put conversion rate? Right? Is there a link in that issue? There, there's supposed to be, but uh, it doesn't look like people have been using it. Maybe, it. yeah. Let's see if this should be here, though. <laughs> I don't see conversion rate. Oh, I think it maybe is down under under evolution. Oh, is this is this not? You're a comment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Conversion rate. Well, the issue. These seem to, the filters seem to include non-technical, non-technical indicators. Yeah. Um, maybe copy on, maybe, maybe just. Uh, I think the, the objectives include non-technical as well. Can you, can you scroll up to the description? I don't think there's any, there's nothing in here that says this is only technical. So I'm not sure what his comment is based on. Uh, it might be the, I have a heart, I'm not certain either, but let me just, uh, um, Would it help if we linked to the types of contributions metric as just a point of reference? The, there's a um, types of- In the metric itself, I mean, like would it help clarify? Um, yeah, probably. Where did I find that? Is types of contribution that's a that's a released metric? Yeah, that's a that's an older metric that just outlines the different types of contributions, obviously. And so it might make sense to just um, make a note of that. Yeah, I agree.
Now should, I mean, I think just asking what he, because I, maybe he's seeing something in the main description that we're missing. It's hard to, it's hard to know when I look at it and I see so many non-technical things itemized. I don't know if there were any other. All right, these these look like some suggestions that could be could be made to the metric. Um, change request reviews. Do we want to, Kevin, what's the best process for addressing these changes? Is it to change, change the metric definition and then let you know <clears throat> so that it can be pulled up to the website? Uh, what do you mean? The, so any, any changes made to the markdown will automatically be uh, displayed on the website. So we are, we are linking directly to the to this document uh, so so you don't need to worry about that the only changes that you would need to let me know about are file name changes which would which would break the page on the website so i have the metric in a google doc here but presumably we did convert it to markdown right yes uh I was uh, unable to add when I was creating this pull request. So, I mean, because pull request was not accepted at that time. So, oh, so th this one isn't part of the release? This is part of a release. Is it under, I guess, change request reviews? I think that's process quality. Oh, what a good guess. And Ray's comment is developers to community members. And Second sentence under objectives. Let's see, this is the original. This is Okay, that seems like a reasonable change to me. It's just changing, it's changing code, quality of code to quality of the software and efficiency of development. I think that's, that's fair because it's not just code that's happening in a process quality metric like this which is called change request. I mean, reviews do include more general things, I think. Yeah, plus one. Yeah, okay. No, should the text be bold? I think maybe the link to the data ethics policy isn't right. The data ethics policy, we're gonna go through and correct at the end, right? Correct. No. That's part so, of the review we're doing. So none of the none of the data, data ethics policy links in any of the documents, if they exist, are going to be correct. Uh, and then requiring, or, and then regarding the, uh, is it should it be bold? Uh, I don't know. I think I think currently we have it italicized. It's bold. <laughs> oh, is it? 
Yeah, whatever we did there, bolded it. Uh, I think I think when I added it to the template, it's supposed to be italicized. Um, and I thought that double underline was italicized as well, but it's coming across as bold and GitHub markdown. Okay, that's weird. I think um, a single star is italicized. It's looking that way. Um, markdown. Yeah, that seemed to fix it. It fixed it in the editor. Let's see if it. Yeah. Okay. And John's also asking for a visualization of change request reviews. Um, uh, I'm trying to imagine the change request reviews visualization. Because you would want to visualize whether or not, I, 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 given this met, somebody's making a lot of noise. <laughs> um, given the metric, I think what we'd want to see in change request reviews is the percentage, like some sort of percentage of change requests accepted and also reviewed versus accepted and not reviewed. Wouldn't we? Yes. However, if we don't have if we don't have a visualization for that, I think it's okay for us to just say we don't have a visualization for that currently. Um, yeah. Oh, this will be. Um... This is change request reviews visualization, I guess, is the goal there. Making a note. All right. Okay, so that's done. We reviewed the issues in the PRs. So we have two, we have two proposed metrics models which I'm going to just move up here. Um, change requests metrics model. Let's find out if um, these are in the metrics tracking spreadsheet. That one doesn't seem to exist. I think it would go in that first uh, focus area, code development. I think so too. No, I was just checking to see if they existed yeah, already. Yeah. All right, so code development is in there. And Mm 
this one was third complexity. I'd say this is a multi-dimensional evaluation of code complexity. Sounds good. Uh, and it looks like we do have a Google Doc started for the one. Um, this is, let me see if I can make this bigger. That one wasn't editable, so I'm just going to change it to an editable version. That didn't work. Why didn't that work? All right, that seems to have worked. I need to zoom that. I need to kind of zoom this so it's readable. Can people still see all this? I tried to make it. Kind of. Yeah, it's a very big thing. I know if I make it too big, it'll be too big for a lot of screens. And so the metric model was. I have to move my. Code development. This just seems community development flow metric model. All right, so community development, community operation, community government, governance. I think this top one is the community development, right? Thank you. They were thinking it would be the whole thing. This whole thing? I, I think. Okay. I, I could be wrong. Yeah. No, but this I was don't. like way back in the days when metrics models were first like emerging. So I think since that, we've had those conversations about keeping the metrics models a lot smaller and more um, compact yeah. and simpler. Because this is a lot. It yeah. is a lot. I'm actually, I'm not aware of this conversation at all. So I must have missed I must have missed these meetings where we it were was, talking about this. Yeah, it was Asia Pacific, like months and months ago. Um, they are the ones who kind of started this, I think, metrics model, um, like actually putting something on paper. Yeah, I, I remember this model from the uh, from the early stages of the 
of the metrics model working groups. I'm I'm not aware of the of the this model in the context of evolution. I guess I I, I don't uh, I don't remember discussing it in evolution. So this is the this is a metrics model template. Um, so if we wanted to um, this is almost like this thing is almost like context. And then this is where we might begin the development of a code development metrics model. Um, I don't, I don't have the ability to log into the chaos user to create. What, what, I don't. Did Elizabeth? Did you see my note about giving me access to the chaos folders? I did not, but you should have access to everything in there. Okay. Yeah, I thought I did. And Maybe I sent it to the wrong email, like uh, the wrong Sean Goggins, because I have like four emails for you. So could, yeah, um, maybe. Or maybe I just sent it to some random Sean somewhere. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> What's the root of the folder? Is it chaos? Uh, yeah, uh, all chaos docs, I think. Okay, all chaos docs. Um, one second here. I have pasted the link for that. Oh, there you go. Thanks for not. Sorry about that. I had a question. Vinod posted the link in the chat. Okay, super. All right, well, it certainly looks like I have access to it, so. Add shortcut to drive, maybe that's my Maybe that was my shortcoming. So in evolution, we would create a new document. Oops. Oops, I guess that was wrong. And we were going this would be called going, this would be if code development. Right? That's the one we would be working on. I think code com complexity or code. We had two. Um, one was oops. One was code complexity and the other was code development. Okay. I have to, I have to say code complexity seems easier to grok than code development, which seems unwieldy. Agreed. So maybe, oops, maybe we start with code development or code complexity, excuse me. Uh, I'll put that into the spreadsheet. And then I can share that in the chat. There. And we could just, we could take some time. to work through this metrics model if we want. 
it might give us a sense of what it's like to work through a metrics model. If does anybody object or not want to do this? No, I'm good with working on this. All right. <clears throat> so. I'm going to pause the recording for a sec. Yeah, that's. I can make a short summary. I can make a short summary and I just explain in a few lines how we could do that at the individual contributors level, the file level, and the project level. It's just it's just yeah. a, a normalized form of the Shannon's uh, uh, entropy. Okay. And yeah. when we're talking about complexity, we were looking at Augur's value worker, which calculates a version of Kokomo and indicates the total lines, the code lines, comments, blanks, and does a Kokomo-based estimate of the complexity of the code mm -hmm. and you're discussing entropy can, can, i mean entropy to, my interpretation of entropy is just sort of a nascent decay through lack of maintenance is that conceptually what you mean armstrong or is it a more complex it's more like, complex than that okay yeah okay so i th i think maybe if you could bring a definition of that to the next meeting we we could discuss code and okay okay um and, you know help us develop a common understanding of it i think my when we talk about things like code complexity and entropy these are i, I don't want to say static because they evolve but they are properties of the project as a whole which I would distinguish between development process, issue resolution, development efficiency, development activity, community growth. Um, do you agree? Yeah. So, so like, do I think, do we need another, I guess the question I'm putting on the table is, do we need <coughs> another focus area for these? Types of I don't metrics. think so. Okay. I don't think so. Yeah. Where would they? Where, so, where, for example, would code complexity go in our existing? Well, I told you how you had something uh, already uh, fitting code complexity in that in the category. So I put yeah I put code complexity under metrics models. Yeah, that's a model. Yeah. Oh, okay. And and we could just say that. You know, code complexity is a metrics model, but usually metrics models rely on metrics, and we don't have a metric for different ways of evaluating code complexity. So we sort of end up in this Gordian knot. Oh, okay, yeah, I see. So if we if we take that model that you were using to calculate that code complexity number, whatever yeah. those whatever that those columns were, we should have a metric for each one of those in yeah. theory, right? But right. it's simple stuff. It's like lines of code, lines and, of blank, and, you know. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. That number of files. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should we should have metrics for all that. Yeah, I, I tend to agree because they're a way of statically looking at I don't know if this is the way to do this. I don't know. Maybe maybe it belongs in common too. That I mean, there's something to be said for putting it in common, also. But yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't have a. I suppose. I mean, we can do it here too. Like, common already has enough to do. <laughs> let's uh. <laughs> let's let's forward. let's start it here. We can yeah. always we can always move it. What are we what are we adding um project level characteristics i would propose project level code project level code characteristics so they're the, the evolving 
state of a project, not looking at all of the actions performed against it, but at X point in time, the project contains this many lines of code in this language, this many lines of code in this other language. There's a percentage of the project that is in each language. So There's what are, a complex what are, of code complexity in each language. Are you you're proposing models or you're proposing a new focus well, area? What are I'm we proposing a new focus area because we need the metrics for the code complexity model to create that metrics model. For that metrics model, we don't have met the metrics that we need. Okay, so and the and the metrics that we would need for that model don't fit within our other focus groups. I think to Correct. Elizabeth's point, they they could fit in common. They I don't see them fitting anywhere else. Which which ones do we need? Um, the, the ones I thought were like, um, like if you look at Sean's spreadsheet thing, that, not spreadsheet, but uh, code thing with the complex code complexity numbers in it. What, yeah. Um, uh, so it was languages in a project, lines of code by language. Well, it would just be lines of code, right? And then language. No, would be the filter thing. would be the language. Okay. Lines of code is a, that's a metric that if that doesn't fit in our existing focus areas, then we should reevaluate what our existing focus areas are because lines of code is a, that should be a, so this is so we have lines of code in a code change or in a commit or in a pull request we don't have any metrics that say in this project at this moment in time it has this many lines of code or files would be another one sean yeah and like Community growth, that's where we're changing that, right? Because we just copied that. I, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, and, and so, um, like, would we need a metric for blank lines of code that was in your, um, your there? Yeah. Yeah, we had project level files, project file complexity, um, project blank lines, lines, and then I suppose project uh, comment lines. These would be pretty straightforward to. Yeah, like they would not be hard. I don't think. Yeah, and then the like I would see like all of the bottom ones like language like we could do lines of code by language, files by language, um, complexity by language, blank lines can comment lines by language. And I think I've got project level files twice. <laughs> um, but there was probably another metric in here. <clears throat> So these, so the distinction between these metrics and other metrics is simply that there just, this is the project at a moment in time. We're not looking at any of the change activity that's happening around it. And that's what we would need to evaluate complexity. Um,
and we're at time. I think we probably need to relook at our focus areas. So the way the way that we're organizing our, our metrics. Um, and that's yeah. maybe that's something to look at in the future here. Tell me what you mean. Uh, so the 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 need Indeed. to create a new focus area here. Uh, I think we're adding the way that we hmm. the way that we have this organized is not uh, uh, it's no longer coherent, right? So we're we're organizing the focus areas in in different ways. Uh, so when we go to the uh, when you scroll to the top, where we've created focus areas around activity, development activity, efficiency, and quality. Uh, an issue resolution. Uh, so the these these focus areas as a whole, they don't really they don't really go together, right? So it's I feel like we're they, we're almost they, we're almost ran, at this point we're almost randomly creating a focus area uh, because so the, our existing buckets don't work. The, so the diff well the buckets work for the ones that we have in the buckets. I think the distinction for this one is that these these are static properties. They are they don't reflect change activity at all. And that's the big difference. And we can discuss this, I agree, next time. And so I will put um so when you start when you start talking about project level, I'm just saying maybe it makes more sense to organize the focus areas by by spaces within the project rather than activities. For example, maybe change requests becomes the focus area, issues becomes the focus area, project level becomes the focus area, uh, rather than uh, because because we also have one that's inter interdependencies, which is so it's the the we're handling the focus areas in two different ways. So it's there's inconsistency in the way that we've created them uh, and in the way that we're uh, putting metrics in, in them. I see what you're saying. There's definitely inconsistency. And I think the question to debate next time is whether that inconsistency is organic to the problem or if it's something that we need to do something with. So I think right. too many too many focus areas would be a bad thing for us. I that I believe that. So I think it, it it's yeah it no. makes work harder. So no, this would be some, and we'd have to explain this differently in any sort of knowledge base because these are different in very fundamental ways. But I'm going to cut this meeting off so we have a minute between this and the next meeting. And thank you all. And talk with you soon, like in five minutes. Yeah, <laughs> see you later. <laughs>